Good morning, FlossTube, or at least it's morning when I'm recording this, so good day, FlossTube, uh, whenever you may be watching this. Welcome back to my channel. I am Heather, the 20 Minute Stitcher, back to you with FlossTube number five. Um, I actually have some cool things to share today, some things I'm really excited about. Um, a bit of a life update first. Um, not much of a life this week. It was an incredibly busy week at work. Um, so I didn't actually get as much actual stitching done as I would have liked, but uh, yeah, we had 60 degree weather earlier this week and we are now under a winter weather advisory and there was snow on the ground. So welcome to March in Northeast Ohio. That is just what it is like. Uh, so today I have um, a little bit of long overdue haul. It's actually something I got at like the end of February um, and just realized that I never shared or showed. So I'll show that today. I have two FFOs to share. Super excited about that. Uh, and then progress on a few patterns. Uh, so we will just jump right into it today since I had a very boring week life-wise. Nothing really much to share. That's not true actually now that I say that. My son was on spring break so I did take a couple of afternoons off work to spend some extra time with him. Uh, we took some walks outside because those were the days where the weather was nice. And um, played some video games together and just hung out, which was nice. Um, but otherwise it was just a ton, a ton of work. Very, very busy. We have um, new, I think I've mentioned before, I work um, at a law firm. We have new lawyers starting on Monday. So I had a lot of work to get ready for them uh, to start. So this was a very busy week getting ready for them. Next week will be a very busy week, or I guess it's Sunday. So later this week will be a very busy week um, with their orientation and onboarding. but all great things as I've said before I, I really love my job oh speaking of things I love first off I just I wanted to start off with this and I totally forgot I am just blown away and feel so grateful and so blessed with the response that my channel has been getting already as I mentioned in my first video I I created this channel in part because you know I saw maybe a niche uh, for shorter videos for floss tube um, something easier to digest in one sitting for those of us who love to watch floss tube and are happy to watch the longer ones in several different sittings, but um, would maybe like to have one or two that we can just sit and watch in one sitting. Uh, but also, as I think I mentioned, um, I'm somewhat recently divorced. I feel like I can't necessarily really say that anymore. It's been more than a year and a half, but um, you know, without, airing too much dirty laundry, it, it ended up being a relationship where I really kind of lost myself in trying to make him happy. And so part of doing this channel was to challenge myself, to put myself out there, to, to find, find joy again, sounds very dramatic, but I guess find joy again in the things that I love and, and to really extend myself to be part of, of, of a new community. And y'all have just embraced me so much. My channel is already over 200 subscribers, which I was really would have been thrilled with like 10, right? Because I just really didn't know if anyone would resonate with what I had to say or give a flying fig what I was working on or stitching, uh, you know, and I don't have a social media presence anywhere else. Um, but so thank you. Thank you. Every single one of you who has watched, who has subscribed, who has commented. Some of your comments, my gosh, have just almost made me cry. I've just warmed my heart so much. It's so, cross stitch has changed so much since I first started and the community that has exploded around it in the last few years is just so amazing. And I feel so blessed to be received the way that I'm being received. And so just thank you. I wanted to, to just verbally acknowledge all of you who have commented, who have complimented my stitching, complimented my, my style, my videos, um, you know, I really did this more for me uh, than for anyone or anything else, but the the positive community and response that I've received just makes it that much more fun and enjoyable. So, so thank you all. I hope that you will continue uh, to enjoy watching, that you'll continue commenting. Um, sorry, there's a cat doing something. And continue commenting, continue um, engaging with me. And um, thank you all for the time that you have spent uh, watching my videos and commenting and uh, so thank you very much. Uh, I can't believe I almost forgot to say that so thank you thank you. 
All right, so let's get into what I have planned for today's video. Uh, so as I mentioned, I have some long overdue haul. One of the things that um, I learned when I sort of got introduced to the new, uh, I guess not that new, right, but to the, the vast cross-stitch community that exists now um, were all these small business or maybe not so small business in some of the cases, but the fabric dyers, the custom um, fabric dyers, uh, I get most of my fabric, or in the past I've gotten most of my fabric just from my local needle workshop, uh, but I joined the Bestitch Me Fabric of the Month Club, and um, my March fabric is on its way, but my February fabric, I should have taken out of the bag, yeah, we'll see if it can, um, is beautiful. So I subscribe to, I get the Even Weave, the Lugana um, Even Weave in a 32 count um, and so the, the February color was, oh, it's not showing up very well. Oh, you know what? My light isn't on in here. One moment. Let me go turn it on. <laughs> I'm not sure that's really going to help much. Maybe a little bit. Um, let me go ahead and just take this out of the plastic. Um, if, I can, if I can. Come on. There we go. But it's a beautiful, beautiful... The color is called Life's a Peach, and it's a beautiful sort of mottled tie-dye, um, very springy color. Um, so Be Stitch Me, I've been really, really pleased with the quality of her fabrics. Um, everything comes surged. You can choose what size you want. Um, I get the 18 by 27 size, and um, I've, I've only stitched something on one of her fabrics so far because so many of my projects were already kitted when I signed up for her club, um, but I cannot wait to stitch. I think I have a pattern in mind um, for this, sort of an Eastery pattern that I think would look really pretty um, on this color fabric. So that is my haul. I don't have anything else. As you all know, I am stitching from Stash um, at least until June when I go to StitchCon. Um, but uh, so really my fabric of the month club or any flosses that I need to purchase for a pattern I'm working on is really sort of all I buy uh, right now. All right. So now on to my FFOs. I have two. And um, another reason why I, I created my channel is because I'm very good at stitching things and then putting them in a box and not doing anything with them. Um, and the things I do FFO tend to be just framed. Um, and I would love to learn there. I've seen so many beautiful finishes, pillows and flat folds and boards and watching other Foss tube channels. And um, so I'm kind of excited to get to try some of that stuff uh, too moving forward. But both of these FFOs today are just simple frame finishes. Um, so the first one is a finish. I'm not sure if I've shown before or not, but just a small little project that I made for my daughter. Uh, don't ask permission to be yourself. Um, this was, I will put in the, I will link down below, hello cat, um, I will link down, but really pecan, you're, you're photo bombing me, go away, <laughs> sorry everyone, um, I will uh, link down below, I, I, this was a test stitch for, for someone, so I'm not sure if she has it up in her store yet or not, but if she does, I will link it in the description below, um, but this is, um, a, a pattern that she designed. I kept the heart open, but her pattern is written in a way that um, you can, um, st oh my gosh, really pecan? Come on, scoot. I've been doing so well with not having to lock them up when I film, but I don't know, they're gonna misbehave today apparently. Um, what was I saying? She designed the pattern so that in the, the heart in the middle, you could stitch with one of the pride flags if you would like or some other sort of color. I just left it open because I liked the way it looked open. Uh, but I stitched this for my daughter, who I've mentioned before is a high school freshman, and I feel like that's such a confusing time, right? You're getting used to a new school, you're getting used to high school, you're sort of learning who you are and who your new friends are going to be. Um, and she, she deals with a little bit of anxiety, and so um, I just liked this because I wanted to remind her, like, don't be anybody but yourself and the people who are meant to get you will get you and the people who don't get you aren't meant to be um, an integral part of your life so you don't need to try to please anybody just be yourself so that is finished for her um, to go into her room and then my other finish is oh my god there's another cat at the 
here. Okay, my other finish is a murder. So I just did this in just a simple black frame that I got at Target, um, but I'm super happy with how it looks. Um, I'm, I'm really happy I was able to find one with a nice thick um, border. I think it really just complements the pattern. So that, oh, here comes Isa. Okay, girl, you guys. Oh, maybe by the time this video is over, all four of the cats can make an appearance for you. Uh, but anyway, so I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm looking forward to having this out. Um, for Halloween. Maybe I'll keep it out all autumn, but uh, really happy with this pattern. Um, I will link it below uh, as well, the pattern to this. This was from, um, no, I don't remember the store's name. I purchased it off Etsy though. I will link it below. So those are my two FFOs. I have to thank my mom for helping me finish them. Um, as I said before, I am I am spoiled. My mom in her past life was a custom framer. So um, I have always had the benefit of being able to go, here, mom, frame this for me. Uh, but I am challenging myself to learn how to do for myself. Um, so my mom did help me with these, but she taught me how to do it. Um, so I am learning. All right, so on to what I've been working on this week. Um, so I've shared before my work stitch. Oh, no, my needle minder is sticking. Okay. Uh, my work stitch that I keep at the office for like during lunch or, or whatever. I did get a chance to work on this a little bit this week, I think. Maybe I don't think I showed this to you guys already. If I did, I apologize. That's just emblematic of how my last couple of weeks have been. I don't even know whether I'm coming or going half the time. Um, but this is a Lizzie Kate pattern called Peace, Love, and a Cure. Um, and so this is the pattern. Um, I am stitching it with the DMC um, options. Um, as opposed to the week's dye works. Um, but I think, the la I think the last time I shared this, I had um, just the peace symbol. Um, I mean, the love was done, but uh, the peace symbol was what I had added new. So I have finished the peace symbol and done the E and the C and some <laughs> of the A in, in peace. So just this one goes slowly because I don't have a lot of time to work on it. Um, but it's a nice small, it fits in a little quart size Ziploc bag um, for me to just keep in a drawer in my office at work. So this one will be slow progress, I know, unless I decide to bring it home and just bang it out. Um, but that's fine. It's nice to have something that when I need a little break, a little meditative, repetitive stitching, or, you know, what's the saying? If I want to stab something a thousand times over. Um, <laughs> it's nice to have at work uh, for that. So then in my last video, I asked you all to vote on which pattern you wanted me to try and finish for March Madness. And I had to laugh because for the first like two or three days of the week, they were evenly tied. So I spent a little bit of time uh, working on both of them while the votes were still tied, but then meetings came away with um, a big lead in the end of the week. So um, I spent some time, uh, more time working on that towards the end of the week. So I'll start with the other Lizzie Kate, the, um, inspiration boxer pattern, which is still magnetized to my little metal board here. So that's this pattern, the I know God won't give me anything I can't handle. I just wish he didn't trust me so much. Um, so I think the last time I shared this, um, I haven't gotten a whole lot done on it. Like I said, it was really only a couple of days that I worked on both of them. So I think this one really only got a day of work this week. So I finished the I and I did the word give. Um, so I'm kind of working my way around with all of this brown color um, before adding some of the others. So that was the progress made on that one this week. Not a whole lot because as I said, meetings pulled away toward the end of the week. Um, and as I said before, I also didn't have a whole lot of time to stitch this week. But um, as I said, towards the end of the week, meetings took a commanding lead. Um, and that is this one. I'm positively bedeviled by meetings, uh, which is the, a quote from Moira Rose from the, the Netflix show or the, the, the CBC show, um, Shit's Creek. So uh, this is for my office. I'm probably going to finish it in a hoop like it's shown here because I kind of like the way that looks. I've never done a hoop finish before, so it'll challenge me to try something new um, as well. So that is the pattern. And the last time I showed this, I really only had some of the words done. So I've made some good progress on this one considering I haven't had a whole lot of time to stitch this week. So before I had positively e-deviled <laughs> done. So now bedeviled is finished. I'm now in this pattern and I started the floral uh, wreath border. 
around the outside. So I'm liking how this one's coming together. It's looking really pretty. This is just being stitched on a mystery white linen, like casual antique white, I think it is. This is from my mom's stash um, because I kitted this up before I joined um, the Vistitch Me Fabric Club. So I'll keep working on this one. This one did pull away with sort of the commanding lead. Uh, there's no way I'll finish this before March is done. <laughs> there just won't be the time this week. Uh, but I'm going to sit and uh, probably binge watch the new season of Bridgerton um, and stitch this <laughs> some more until my kids get home this afternoon uh, and hopefully find some time this week uh, to stitch as well. So that is really all I have for today. I've had a couple of people in the comments um, ask to see my stash, uh, both fabric and pattern. So I think I might do that uh, in a future video. Maybe I'll do one um, with my pattern stash and one with my fabric stash. I don't really have that much of a fabric stash, pretty much just stuff I've stolen from my mom. And then um, I joined the Bestitch Me Fabric Club maybe in October or November of last year. So I have a few colors from, from her, but, uh, but not a whole lot. So my fabric stash isn't very exciting. Hopefully I'll have lots of other stitching to share for that video. Um, but my pattern stash, like all good stitchers, I've got a gajillion different patterns, both paper patterns as well as um, PDF patterns saved on my computer. I have discovered that my library, um, they use the Libby app. There are lots of cross-stitch magazines on Libby. Uh, so I basically subscribe. I get notifications every time the library has a new one available. Um, and so I, it's far too easy to save patterns out of those magazines that way. Uh, I have saved a whole bunch of patterns uh, digitally um, from, from that as well. So that is kind of fun, but the, like all good stitchers, I have more patterns than I will ever be able to stitch in a lifetime, even if I could stitch full time, <laughs> but that's part of the fun of it, right? Is then you get to decide what you do. So, um, so yeah, I will probably do that in a future video. If there's anything else you would like to, to see or to know about me, uh, as I said at the top of the video, I'm just feeling so embraced by this community and so grateful and so blessed. So I thank you all so much for spending time with me. Uh, again, please like, please subscribe. Let me know um, if there's anything else you'd like to see or know from me. And uh, I will probably, uh, like I said, won't be able to finish meetings by the end of March like I had hoped to, but I'm going to do my very best. So hopefully I'll have a lot of progress to show on that. And then I'll have to think about what I want to do for April. Uh, if I want to continue to, to work on, uh, if I want to add anything new into the stitching rotation, I have about seven or eight whips right now that I showed in my first video. Uh, I have a feeling when I do the video to show my pattern stash, there will probably be others that I'll be like, ooh, I want to get that up and get started on that because that's just how we roll, isn't it? So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>